Alrighty, so this is a Samsung Galaxy S, currently running the Froyo 2.2 build. I was just going to get a run through of just to show how it runs compared to the update which I'll be doing briefly, the 2.21, as a sort of frame of reference to see which one's really faster. Okay, so let's get a close up. So we're on the Engadget website at the moment, fairly smooth. Let's bring up the, the proper the version. So you can see it's load time there. Reasonably quick. Let's do zooming. Tilting reasonably quick. Right, so let's go back to the main menu fairly quick. Now um, the main problem people were getting with this was that they would get the occasional pause every now and again so I'm trying to see if I could duplicate that so I just got that then there. So let's try and bring up the market. Scrolls reasonably quick. Press the start button, type stuff. I'll say it. I'll actually search for hello, so we can measure how long it takes to load. So I've I've clicked on go. Yep. Taking a bit. So the biggest thing was launching applications. So I'll see if there's any applications I can launch. So I'll um, I'll shortly stop this and I'll um update it to the 2.21 firmware, and then I'll um do the same test again. Alright, so that's taken way too long. Let's go back again. Let's start up another app. What have we got? Um, let's do TechCrunch. TechCrunch is one of those weird apps where it'll um, consistently crash a fair bit. So this might be one of those cases where it actually does that. Alright, so let's quit out. Um, let's try and see if there's another app. IMDB, haven't run that in a while. Funnily enough, it seems reasonably good at the moment. There's a few bits here where it's sort of locked up. Alright, so that's probably... Yep, so let's um, time it turning off. So I've got the timer going here. Now it actually vibrates when um, it's fully turned off. So we're at 10 seconds now. Now the biggest thing we noticed with 2.2 is that the startup time is still a f pretty huge. The main part being scanning the SD card. Apparently the 2.21 update does a big change to fix that, so that's all good. We're at now 30 seconds to turn this off, so that's uh, pretty bad. Oh, I might as well um, stop this in a second. Okay, so that's just um, turned off now. So I'll um, stop this video, we'll give it a bit of an update, and we'll um, start it again. Hello. It's been a while later, but I finally got 2.2.1 finally flashed on, the JPY edition. So we're just going to do a benchmark from turning it on, and at the end of the test I'll end up turning it off. So I've just flicked it on now. Now, um, first few tests I've given of this, it's fairly quick. So I'm just uh, keeping a note of the time here. Roughly it takes about 30 seconds to turn on, down from a minute from previous update. Right, so that took 15 seconds to get to that point. And we'll see, of course anyone using Samsung Galaxy S, they know that it's the next bit after this, the, uh, the updating part up here. So this is what 2.21 looks like, but um, the media scanner is still there. But um, it's a lot faster. So we um, you can see up here that's that's running currently. But um, it doesn't cripple a phone as bad as it used to. You can see there I'm getting emails and that everything's still happening while it's going. It's wow! Look at that. That's um, under a minute, and the phone's fully usable. Uh, first thing you notice, uh, responsiveness. Wow, night and day. Look at that. That it's 
to use the term, it's like butter. It still does have the occasional glitch like you've just seen then, but it's very quick and there's not so much of the, um, the black, you know, frozen at black screen. At least I haven't had that so far. So, with the application here, very fast. So, let's just scroll through there. So, very, very nice. Um, in the old version, I did the market as well as the, the internet. Let's um, bring those up as a comparison. So, um, yeah, overall, it's pretty good. Good load speed, and it's, it's definitely right up there. Um, still get the occasional stuff, like I said, but you get used to it. And it's um, once it's there, wow, look at that. And if anything, um, I'm, I'm loading this on a pretty poor internet connection, so keep that in mind as well, like when I'm scrolling up and down like a crazy monkey, um, that that's all going on. So let's try installing some applications. So I've um, purchased this app. Let's install it. So I'm going to install, what else can I add on? Let's, um, let's go to my apps. So this is a fresh install at the moment. So you can see here I've already gone to install a fair few new apps already. And while it's installing, like 2.1 to 2.2 was a fairly drastic change, but this one is as well. You can still do a lot of things while it's going, while it's going on. I'd like to actually show Google Maps while I'm going around. Um, if anything, um, that it still can slow down when you're putting on a big app like Flash Player. When I installed that just before, it um, took a fair while and did actually slow it down a fair bit. But you know, big apps you sort of you know can expect that. So Market is a win, noticeably faster, which is great. Um, all these updates are happening, good stuff. So let's go into the internet. So as you can see there, animations very fast and smooth. A lot. It's a lot more noticeable in person as well. So let's type in hello. Very nice. Right, so let's go to Engadget because we we're on that one last time. Engadget. I haven't turned on swipe yet, so that could be interesting to see what that's like. All right, so we'll try the mobile version, and then we'll try zooming in and out on the the full version. All right, so website loaded pretty quick. Yay, that's good. Can't zoom in on the mobile one, so let's uh, go down. Page load times, as you can see there, very quick. Go back and watch the original 2.1 uh, 2.2 update, and just compare that kind of difference going on. Okay, so this page is loading up now. Engadget's a fairly image heavy website, so first time loading that's always uh, not good. So um, that's still loading there. Got a bit of tiles, oh well. So you can see the loading bar there. Loading time, the actual page seems about on par for my internet connection. So let's go down. So looking at that, Pages pages finished loading now, so now we get the true comparison of uh, responsiveness for the screen. Very good, and um, it's it's overall a pretty nice experience. So let's zoom in and out. Very good, very fast. I noticed a few people were mentioning that um, it tiles instead of being a um, vector-based sort of insert, if that makes sense. Like as in, I scale back out text waits to refresh. Zoom in, text is blurry until I let go. That seems the case, but the trade-off is definitely worth it, and this is the way that the iPhone currently works. Alright, so let's go back. Back. And quit out. Let's try running a random app. What have we got? But yeah, overall responsiveness is great. If you want, um, want me to try any actual apps, if you're a bit worried about trying it out, there it goes. Let's try one of the crappy um, Samsung internal apps. Nice and responsive. Yeah, but um, so far, not in day. Um, this has already been synced up to um, have all my contacts on there. Um, applications aren't on there. But even with 2.2, it wasn't this responsive when you first installed it. 
So overall impressions so far are great. Let's see if there's any last apps I should run. Let's see if um, Pulse runs without needing an account sign in. I think it does. Well, that's nice. I noticed the, um, the iPhone app for, tech, uh, for Pulse was fantastic and um, the way it sort of looks there, you know, very smooth, sort of scrolling, very nice. Definitely going to recommend that. So um, when this 2.21 update comes out, it's, it's going to be fantastic. Alright, so overall, it's great. Um, definitely recommend it. So that's about it. Oh, let's test out turning it off. So start the timer here. It is a little bit faster to turn it off, but oh well. Alright, so starting the timer now. So I've actually got to wait for it to vibrate, so I'm actually testing that there. So we're at 10 seconds now. Let's go a bit further. Right, so that's 18 seconds, just under 20 to turn off. Fantastic. Um, it, it was more than double that with the previous version. So those changes alone, fantastic, definitely worth doing it. Give it the thumbs up, if you can see that. As well as that, um, I definitely recommend the way I was doing it. A lot of people have been doing using keys. I'll switch it on while I'm talking. Uh, the Samsung keys thing. The software's a piece of crap. Just use Odin. I used Odin um, with the tar file and it worked pretty much first go. I also flashed down to JM8 just so I could sort of you know, be really fresh and complete but honestly it's not needed and a lot of people have done it not using that way already. So, phone, great stuff. That's it for now.